What's up, y'all? I'm here again with another product review. You guys know that I'm always up for doing any product reviews. I've always told you guys, comment down below, let me know what you would like me to do a review on. I'm always up for it if I'm able to get the product. And today, we're doing one that y'all requested for. And I've tested it out a couple times. Let's go check it out. So I've had this chair for about, say, over a month now and I've tested it a couple times. I wanted to make sure I tested it out on different conditions so I can give you my honest opinion about it. Now, for you guys that don't know what this chair is, this is the Babinski chair. I'll put it on the screen right there, some pictures of me sitting in the chair. You see it? Pretty cool, huh? So at first look, you're probably gonna think it looks like, well, the first time I saw it, it looks like one of those you know, outdoor chairs, the ones that open up and everything that have canvas, have little two cup holders, but it's different. It goes on your ski. What's nice about this chair is that it comes in, I'll say, this nice canvas bag, has vent holes on the side, so you don't have any mildew or mold that gets on the chair, and it comes with this carrying strap. So let's open it up and take a look at it. Now what came in the bag is the chair, these two bungees, another strap for you SeeDo users, and some instructions. Well, I don't know where the instructions went, but you lose it, here you go. It's printed inside the bag. Remember when I said that the chair looks like your typical outdoor chair that you would use going to the game or picnic or camping, but it's not because it doesn't have four legs. See, you have the back. You'll put that there. I don't know if you can see it. Drop that down. And then underneath here, can you see it? You just push that. When opening up the chair, there's four locking points right here at the top, two on the side, and then one right here. You see here, only two legs. The two in the front, none in the back. This right here is a hook that goes onto your boarding step. Clip here, and you would hook it to that strap I was telling you about. Let me show you the video of how I set it up. This was my first time to use the chair, and my first attempt to assemble the chair while sitting on the water. Because the chair is made out of aluminum, I found it very easy and lightweight to install the chair on the back of the ski. The installation took me less than one minute and I think I could get it to 30 seconds if I used it more. And there you go, it's assembled. After installing it, I wanted to test it out for myself. And in the background, you can see the guys wanting to show me that they can kick back there also. Yeah, it could be done, but it's not as comfortable. And can you do it with two people? I doubt it. So as you can see right here, Kevin and I are able to transfer and move around on the ski easily and nobody fell off. This is actually pretty comfortable. You sit back, relax. Now you're probably wondering, who would want this chair? Now this chair is probably not gonna be for everyone. This chair will be used, I think, for a person that can't just easily pull up to an island, um, beach their ski and get out and sit on the beach or bring chairs that can sit on the beach. Another thing that I see people using it for is fishing. You know, having those saddlebag coolers on the sides um, and then you having a fishing pole in one hand and a beer can on the other, just kick back and relax fishing in the lake. Now let's talk about pros and cons of the chair. Two of the cons that 
I've come up with are one, I won't be able to bring my fuel cooler rack or bring extra fuel or a cooler or just anything to hook up into the link system on the back if I want to use the chair. And two, some people might find that it is pretty big. The compactability of it. It's not very small. It's kind of big. Um, it can fit on the back of your ski still, but some people might find it just too big and bulky and they don't like strapping stuff on their skis. Now, let's talk about the pros. I see myself using this on Crab Island or just at a, on a sandbar with my umbrella and hanging out in the sun or under the shade, kicking back and just hanging out. And the chair fits on the Yamaha skis, Sidu skis, and I don't even, I'm not sure about Kawasaki's, but you can see it on their website. Another pro is I'm very picky when it comes to putting anything on my ski. I have to make sure that it doesn't scratch or mess up the matting or anything like that. If you can see right here, you see the thick padding on the feet? This thing is solid and it sits on the back deck. You don't have to worry about scratching your ski or tearing up the traction mat on your ski. Another pro is that it feels pretty durable. It holds up to 225 pounds. It's made out of anodized aluminum and stainless steel hardware. So I feel like it's gonna last quite a bit. I'm not sure how it would last in salt water. And because it's made with those materials, I would think that it would be durable. My other pro on this is have enough space for two people. Um, as you see in the video, let's clip to the video. It's not really smooth, but I wanted to show y'all how easy it is to set up right here. As you can see, I switch places with Karina. Okay, all you do is unstrap them. Hold on to them, make sure you don't lose them. Unzip the bag. And then pull this out. So I already preset the strap that goes around the seat on a Yamaha or yeah on Yamaha or other sea -Dews, you won't need this strap you're gonna be able to hook the chair to the toe eye the one that you would hook like this would be over here down here but because I have the newer Cedus, it comes with the strap. That's where it will be hooked up to. So it won't be so hard for you to do the install while you're on the water. It's best to pre-install this at home to get the measurements right and the tightness that you need for the strap. Okay, you see that little hook right there? That metal hook will hook to the step ladder. There you go. And it's on. Now all you do is open the chair. Lift this up. Make sure the strap's down. Pop that other one underneath. Up. Open it all the way. We have this right there. Now with this, you're gonna have the chair tilt. The chair is gonna be tilted a little bit forward. The reason why it's gonna be tilted forward is because when you sit on it, it's gonna go back. I made some adjustments after the first time so it won't feel like you're gonna fall backwards. I was easily able to set up the Bimbinski chair on the back of the ski while there was two of us on there. And it gave us room for both of us to kick our feet up and just relax on the water. Before I continue showing y'all videos and everything, the giveaway is still going on for seven products that are going to be given out to seven of you viewers and the instructions for winning it will be in the video, which is the link up above. Um, the video title is how to get free jet ski stuff. And if you don't like free stuff, then keep on moving. Okay, I'm just kidding. Hit, go on and 
hit that like button on that video because then you help other people get free stuff. One of the important things I think about when strapping anything to my ski is the rubbing. When riding, there's a lot of movement, so it can create some rub marks on your ski or scratches. And it came with these, but I was like, are these gonna really be able to hold up? And I was pretty impressed with it. Check out this 360 video. <laughs> any scratches or rub on the paint so I was pretty happy about this it actually sat up about this much off the ski when riding now let's talk about price I know a lot of you are probably wondering it's a hundred and thirty nine dollars Wow that is kind of pricey but if you've been around in the jet ski community you know that any product that is made specifically for something is going to be a little pricey. Everything in the jet ski community, any, everything that you need is kind of pricey for jet skis. And they could probably drop down the price just a tiny bit, but if they drop down the price a little bit, are they sacrificing quality or durability? I'm not sure. But you guys... You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. You guys blow money on everything like tunes and... and all these accessories this is not considered a necessity it's an accessory that enhances your jet ski experience shut up and take my money you know whenever I do a product review and I like the product I try to get one for you guys I gotta figure out how am I gonna get you guys a chair comment down below if y'all would like a free chair all right guys that was just a quick review on the Babinski chair if you like this video you hit that like button down below um, Make sure you are subscribed also because we're always giving away free stuff around here. And plus, you can come in right away with me. Make sure you're on my social media platforms on Facebook or watching my stories on YouTube, watching my stories on Instagram because I will be doing a sticker giveaway for 24 hours. I will be sending out stickers to anybody that wants one. Until next time, see y'all on the water.